So welcome to the www.sakalavidya.com viewers. We have completed very short answer type questions and short answer type questions on straight lines. Now we are going to do long answer type questions also. The long you know that long answer type questions each carries 7 marks in the examination. Being this chapter is has more weightage. So try to concentrate more on even 7 marks problems from straight lines. Okay, let us move to the long answer type questions. The first question. Find the circumcenter circumcenter of the triangle of the triangle whose vertices are whose vertices are 1 comma 3 0 comma minus 2 and minus 3 comma 1. Find the circumcenter of the triangle whose vertices are 1 comma 3, 0 comma minus 2 and minus 3 comma 1. So, here key word is circumcenter of the triangle. What is the circumcenter? See, the circumcenter of the triangle is nothing but the point of concurrence of the perpendicular bisectors of the sides of the triangle. So, what is the property of the circumcenter? Circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices of the triangle. So, using that, that concept here, we since the point which is equidistant from the three vertices, so we can find out circumcenter of the triangle. So, that is the basic idea behind this problem. Okay. Now, let us solve this problem. First draw the triangle. This is the triangle. Say whose vertices A 1 comma 3, label it B 0 comma minus 2, C minus 3 comma 1. Let us visualize the triangle. Let us suppose S be the circumcenter. Join S A, S B and S C. This equal to this equal to this. So, now given A 1 comma 3, B 0 comma minus 2 and C minus 3 comma 1 are the vertices of triangle ABC. Say this is x comma y. Let S x comma y be the circumcenter, circumcenter of triangle ABC. I already told you circumcenter is equidistant from the vertices of the triangle. So, we have this condition S A is equal to S B is equal to S C. First you take S A is equal to S B squaring on both sides. S A square is equal to S B square s a square square of the distance that is x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square is equal to s b square. So, what do you get s b square? x minus 0 square 
plus y plus 2 whole square. Just simplify it. See x square minus 2 x plus 1 y square minus 6 y plus 9 is equal to x square plus y square plus 4 y plus 4. Now, what will happen x square x square cancel y square y square cancel. So, this can be written like this minus 2 x minus 6 y plus 10 is equal to 4 y plus 4 bring this side minus 2 x minus 10 y plus 6 is equal to 0 divide by minus 2 you get x plus 5 y minus 3 is equal to 0 say equation 1 this is equation 1 you will get it. So, now consider S b is equal to S c squaring on both sides S b square is equal to S c square already S b square value is there here. S b square is x minus 0 square plus y plus 2 square is equal to S c square x plus 3 square plus y minus 1 square. Distance formula only root of x 2 minus x 1 square plus y 2 minus y 1 square. Square of the distance means without square root. Thus, we apply in both the cases. So, now this is x square plus y square plus 4 y plus 4 this is equal to x square plus 6 x plus 9 y square minus 2 y plus 1. This x square x square cancel y square y square cancel. So, now bring this side minus 6 x plus 4 y plus 2 y plus 4 minus 10 is equal to 0. Am I correct? Check. Okay. Minus 6 x plus 6 y minus 6 is equal to 0 divide by minus 6. You get x minus y plus 1 is equal to 0 say equation 2. Solving 1 and 2. Solving 1 and 2 we get circumstance that is all. So, how to solve here 5 minus 3 1 5 here minus 1 1 1 minus 1 x y 1. See here we get x by x by 5 minus 3 y by minus 3 minus 1, 1 by minus 1 minus 5, x by 2, y by minus 4, 1 by minus 6, x is equal to minus 1 by 3, y is equal to 2 by 3. Therefore, S is equal to circumcenter minus 1 by 3 comma 2 by 3 this is the answer.